Ever since I made this Valor channel, y'all asked over and over and over and over and Can you make a aim routine bit? How do you practice aim? What do you do for a warm up slash aim train? If y'all would just read my replies in the comments, you know it's nothing in particular. I would we just load up Valorant, Q competitive, and lose. Would we? But that does have me wondering: Is aim training even worth it? So for seven days, I'm gonna be doing the Miyagi method, which is with the shark, you're gonna do 30 bots in Isma, 30 bots in Minima. Then with the Guardian, you're gonna go for headshots while on trifling bots. And after that, you're gonna load a deathmatch with the Guardian. You're gonna track players. Head while having movement, but do not shoot. Then after a couple of deaths, you shoot. Uh, 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 yeah. I'll be using my abused main account that's currently down over 200 IR due to throwing for the clips. So hopefully the aim training wakes up a demon in me and I hyper carry and get my IR back. But do remember this is an aim training video, so we're primarily focused on any changes in our aim slash gunfights. So I finished doing the Miyagi warm up. I felt confident. I thought it was gonna be a good day. And uh, I was wrong. And I forgot to buy. Oh my god. You all. Double up. Hold it. Hold up. Kind of got plowed in the attacking half. Um, we were down a lot of rounds. It was 210, so I figured might as well play aggro and just focus on winning my gunfights and. Maybe that was the uh, issue. Because after I won a couple gunfights, I felt like I could just peek everyone and just tap heads easily with no uh, problem. So in the end we lost because uh, some easy trades were not traded. Oh Yo. Stop crouch spraying you dumb bitch. But that's fine because we're only worried about our performance, hence this video. So we hit it with the insta kit because my aim is starting to feel really nice. Good shot that I shot. The gun's on D. Here, there's two short. No. They're going out. Okay. Nice pack! Nice! Holy fuck. So Nubuk and I dropped a combined 50 to 60, won a lot of my gunfights, um, but we still lost unfortunately. We had a raise that wanted to do our own thing. No, you you were selling raise, you were always working. But it's okay, my aim is still feeling nice. Hey, run it back. <laughs> We still lost though, but at least I dumpstered on everyone. Deep in rap, don't disrespect, so it's time to get back. So on day two, I took my advice on day one, which was play aggressive and force every single gunfight, and here's how it went. One go. 
Yo, let me get the ace, let me get the ace. On your left, on your left, on your left. Nice. Nice. What the hell? What the fuck? Alright, you just stepped into it. I mean, I pulled it first. Okay, Kale looked up you. Kale looked up you. Kale is here. He's still here. Fuck. Fuck, man. By playing aggressive and peeking them first, I noticed I was very quick to micro adjust and whether it came from aim training or not, I'm not gonna say because it's only day two and it could be a placebo. But in the end, uh we lost for those that care. Um we threw rounds and I started lagging. Go on cat, go on cat. Wait, I need help, I need help. Uh Yo, I'm lagging. I'm not playing cop this. When I'm when I All right, all right. Bro, the race is starting. All right, all right, all right. I did notice, and I'm not sure if it was the aim training putting in the work or not, but I started getting the most first bloods in the lobby more often than usual. Huh? So on day 3, I kind of started to question how I did so good on day 1 and 2, whether it was a placebo or not, because on day 3, I lost a lot of my gunfights. Both games were just really bad. How did that out Custer? Yeah. yeah. Um, game two, uh, a fracture. We had a KJ that tilted round one. She oh, left for a little bit, went AFK, okay, huh? came back, and okay, just it. was racist right. for no reason. But I'm not gonna show that, so yeah. Alright, we lost. G, back call. Nice! No, that's scary. Why did this KJ leave? Let's go. So on day four, aim-wise, there really wasn't much to talk about. Um, I played two games. First game, Cypher just carried the living crap out of me. Um, I just did my role as an entry and entry, and that's it. And on the second game, the old team was really good. Everyone got uh, their pick or their one, as you may say. And the game ended. So yeah, really not much to talk about. It's just spray paint here, eh? Hey. Oh, damn. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. There's a lot of people. Yo, what? You champion! They went No, but wait! She walked in the smoke over here. Rain is behind you guys in the Astro smoke. That's crazy. At least he tried. Blatantly throwing, have more kills in. So on day 5, I've yet to notice any changes in gunfights I take, my aim, or really anything that I can notice that the aim training had an impact on. Some people may say it's working seeing me win a lot of gunfights, but you gotta take into consideration I've hit deeper more multiple times already, so it's kinda hard to tell whether it's my experience putting in the work or the aim training itself. Regardless though, I played uh, 3 games, um, 1 all 3 fortunately. And uh, again, I, I really didn't notice anything. I kind of just won my gunfights and I was just like, whatever. I didn't feel any like extra jitteriness, extra confidence or any of that. One enemy remains. That's on rope. Had him there. GG. Attackers win. Default. Frenzy. Oh. Right there. 
There's like there's three in there. Seventy. Dealing. So on day 6, uh, I did the warm-up again. I actually did the warm-up and hopped straight into one game. And again, I, I really tried to see if I could notice any difference and I noticed absolutely nothing. One gunfights, last gunfights, but majority of the time I was pretty consistent. And uh, yeah, I only played one game because I had to go somewhere and... Uh, but, 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 but. Spike. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Nice. <laughs> We'll play for long. Ready on good. There's a little couple more flanking. Both of them flanking. Both of them flanking. How? What do we? How can we do it? What did this? Nice job, guys. They don't know me, son. Get it? Eighteen. They don't know me, son. On day 7, I decided not to aim train. I've noticed during this week of aim training, as mentioned previously, 90% of my games I had the most first bloods by far. I've either match MVP'd or team MVP'd 60-80% of the games, and other statistics that I'm too lazy to pay attention to. Some will say the aim training is working, but to combat that, I'm going to go in with my usual no warm up straight into rank mentality and see if I can still perform as good, and here's how I went. Damn, straight me out, window. Bro, comp doesn't matter, bro. What? what? They are. That's a long. Long done. Two, two, two. One more, one more. I can't lie. One. Suffered. Left and right. Ooh, yeah. Ready, bro. Oh, he liked it. The Chamber one shot body, no shot. 55. Turn right, nice. What happened? What happened? See what? See what? One side. I have to play four games now. So the big question, does aim training work? For me, no. Others, possibly yes, but it's a different experience for everyone. Whether you use aim labs, Kovacs, 
in-game training, everyone is going to experience and be affected differently. It was difficult uh, deciphering whether it was the effect of aim training or not, as when I was aiming on the last day, I had no issue and had the same consistent performance as when I did aim train. As I mentioned before, it's different for everyone, and for me, I believe the aim training did not work in terms of improving my aim. My reason for this is the fact that I was able to hit a lot of good shots, if not better shots, when not aim training. Holy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna do it off the car. Wait, that's all crazy. I can't.